In this episode of Aaron's, we're anticipating another big arrival from a Saints legend. We'd like to thank our friends at Bridgestone Tires for making this segment possible. Which legend are we waiting for? Yes, we're here waiting the arrival of one of the best offensive linemen in the Sean Payton Drew Brees era, former All-Pro, Big John Stench. Mike, right here. Mike, it's me. It's me. You it's you. It. Uh huh. You like the side? I love it. Looks good. Welcome to New Orleans. Hi, buddy. Good, good to be back. back. Good to see you. Yeah. You ready to run some errands or what? Let's go run some errands. Let's do it. Let's do it. In this errands episode, Stenchcomb puts us to work where we make the rounds. Will it be a happy homecoming at his old Saints stopping grounds? Then a quick drive through lunch at Kane's? And finally, Stitch gives us a tour of his broadcast booth. But first, we made sure the former right tackle was comfy after his flight. This is a spacious car that I got you. What if I would have gotten you a compact car? When's the last time you rode comfortably in a compact car? Rode comfortably? Yes, how old were you? I yes. think it was middle school. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was 12, about to hit 13. You know, I own the same car that I bought uh, when I was drafted. Do you really? Until last year. I really? finally sold it. So 303,000 miles. Are you serious? I haven't got rid of it. Is it because there's, there was an affinity for it or? I loved it. It was a great okay. car. Right. So your first errand, we're kind of coming back home. You want to check in on the friendly confines here, huh? Well, absolutely. I'm sure they've renamed a couple of halls, maybe uh, an entire wing after John Stinchcomb. And of course. I just want to show it to you. Well, you know, it's kind of the house that I built, so <laughs> I expect the red carpet to be rolled out. Sean Payton, Drew Brees, John Stenchka. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, the big three is what they call it. Here we are, the house that Stench built. That's it, that's it Mike. So, you know, it, when you come here, you just have to recognize that there's you know, three or four names that have been really influential for the Saints. you got, obviously, Mr. Benson and, and Sean Payton. Sure. Uh, Drew Brees is up there, and I think there's another name that. Oh, excuse me. Uh, come on, you guys have. Mike, Mike, don't worry. This is, you know, Freddie. It's John Stinchko, you know, former teammate. We played together. John Stinchko. Yeah, I mean, like, just stop messing with me, Freddie. Come on. No, no, no. no. You look, you look familiar now. I promise you, you look familiar. Yeah. I've seen you somewhere before. That's it. Uh, you ever worked at Winn Dixie? Wait, wait, this was all off the cuff too. How about that? Good job. That was great. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I, I really hurt my feelings. But... <laughs> hey, that was a hey, master despy. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is nice having the quarterback there, but uh, does Stench have anything that we can check out? Well, and hear if you were able to just blow this picture out about 15 yards, I'd be right here. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Is this John Stenchcomb's Super Bowl ring? Right if you'd see in the other side. Of course, this is his Super Bowl ring. I didn't know how long it would take to find something for Stitch, but now that hey, we found it. Right behind the seat. Oh, okay. oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Right, 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 right. There it is. All right, you can laugh at yourself, but the truth is, in terms of super memories, it didn't take long to find John Stitch from here. Well, it's, this is a, such a huge piece of uh, my life, and, and that period of time was special. And, you know, guys like Freddie. You're, you're bonded with them forever. Well, speaking of super memories, for now, we have another errand. Where are we going next? You know, I'm from Georgia. Yes. And there's much uh, debate on, is it the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich or is it the Popeye sandwich? <laughs> you know what I miss in New Orleans? What? Canes. We're going to Canes? Let's do it. Oh, man, let's go. Growing up, I mean, we see big, tough John Stench come in Georgia and in the pros, but growing up, you're always the young guy on, on the block, right? <laughs> I used to get tormented in the neighborhood. <laughs> really? Oh, well, was, yeah, I got, that's what makes you tough. Right. You're know, the youngest, I was the youngest kid in our neighborhood, Right. and we played backyard football all the time, right. but nobody wanted me on their team because I'm the youngest kid. <laughs> And uh, it makes you tough, man. You have to get out there and scrap. Right. So. You see the old videos of the Manning family, Peyton Manning crying. You know, he's not happy with the, you know, getting picked on. Was, you was there a John Stench come crying, I'm not happy moment? You could be honest with me. We, we were among friends Mike, these cameras are off, right? So I can yeah. speak <laughs> openly. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, you can ask Mandy Dorsett. 
Mandy Dorsett was oh. the, the little sister of little sister. Two, of the, two of the neighborhood. Now she's still older than me. Like I said, I'm the oldest, you know, the youngest kid in the entire neighborhood. Right, right. And so when, when I'd get my feelings hurt and they'd mush me into the ground, I'd go in and play with Mandy Dorsett down the, down the street. And uh, <laughs> that's that's when you knew I'd got my, taken my licks for the day. Was it dollhouse time with Mandy? Or was it something don't, else? Don't even go there, Mike. I just, you no, know, no, trying no. to get, get a little deeper you know in the story here. You want to get some food. In terms of your eating habits, have they changed post football? <laughs> Was that a serious question, I'm Mike? Just, just curious. Uh, yes, just curious. my eating habits have changed a little bit. I definitely miss the days where you could eat whatever you want, whenever you wanted, <laughs> and know that you're going to burn most of it off. If I drop the name John Stinchcomb, will we get free food here? They might charge you double. <laughs> I'll take the three finger combo. Please, three finger sir. combo, what would you like to drink? You know, they have great lemonade and they have great sweet tea. So I'm gonna do both and get an Arnold Palmer. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. You can do that here, huh? It's a veteran move. It's a vet move. Wow. I'm here with John Stinchcomb, former New Orleans Saints legend. Does that give me a free meal if he's with me? Sorry, so no discount. Very disappointing. <laughs> I'm shocked. That's very disappointing, John. Well, if I was with Breeze, would I get free food? Yes, you would have. <laughs> no doubt. What are large lemonade? Saints Hi. legend. John Can Stinchel. you believe it? He'll autograph anything for free food, too. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yes. He was an all pro, he was man of the year. Uh huh. You know what that got We're you? killing you in the second You know what that got you? Huh? A sliding glass to the That's face. Right. Is that offensive lineman? No thanks. All right, let's lobby for this. Hey, I'm just curious though. I was wondering, he didn't get us free food today. If Drew Brees was sitting next to us, would we get free food today? Well, whenever Drew Brees comes, he always pays. Boom. Okay, there you go. Did you hear that? He actually pays double. <laughs> yeah. He's giving back to the community. Wow. Thank you very much. We'll work on that stench with special. Yeah, we will. All right, we didn't get free food, but you can eat as we go to our final errand. Now let us take a quick errand's time out to allow our guest to eat his lunch. You feel better? I feel great. Good, good. How'd they do with the Arnold Palmer? Mm. You know, the ratio is important. That's right. You know, tea to lemonade, right. it's gotta be right. right. And she did phenomenally. Oh, really? Oh, it's really good. You were one of the few holdovers from the Jim Haslett era when Sean Payton took over. You kind of felt like you played your whole career with the Saints, but with two different teams. Yes. I, I think that's the uh, most appropriate way to describe it. I, I enjoyed playing under Haslett. I can't say that I got along with a lot of the guys in the locker room. Mm -hmm. we, whether it was stage of life or whatever that was, uh, I was very appreciative when Coach Payton came along and two thirds of the team in one season is turned over and you get a whole new group of guys with a, a different vision. You know, I'm driving up to the Superdome here. So many new NFL stadiums, John. Superdome's gonna be here a long time. Your kids are young. You can bring them back here and say, this is where I played. I mean, how much is that gonna mean to you? I love it. I love, I, when, I think when people think of New Orleans, they think of the Superdome. Sure. Well, we're here at the Superdome. This used to be where you played. It's now where you work. Right, because it was just a game before. Right. <laughs> Now this is real work. <laughs> right. So how much are you enjoying the broadcast? Because I know you probably have opportunities to do more of this, but I know you like doing the preseason because it allows you to do other things in your life. Uh, you're exactly right. Mm -hmm. And I love the Saints. Right. So right. I get to come three or four times a year and do preseason games and talk about a, a team and organization that's near and dear to my heart. Stinch is on the right. Oh, He's right about here. <laughs> What's up, man? You doing all right? And this is where the magic happens. As a broadcaster, is it tough being critical? I think at times um, you can relate to the players on the field, and you've been in their shoes. And you know you don't never want to skewer a guy, but you also want to be fair to the game and fair to the fans. You know what? I, I can tell when my time is up. I get the feeling you want to prepare. I'm going to leave, but I really appreciate you being a part of Aaron's here. The headphones, Big Phil. Well, I, I enjoyed it. Good. 
but every good story comes to an end, and that's the end of ours. That's so right. appreciate our time together, Mike. Right. It was time for me to get ready. All right, from the airport to the dome, that's Aaron's with John Stenchko. This episode of Aaron's brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, the world's largest tire and rubber company. Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. Are you a good driver? I'm a little bit nervous. Whoa, did I run over something? It sounded like it. Did you hear the screaming? Oh, it was a cone. A cone. You crushed Sorry. a cone. Sorry. Mike Neighbors, off to a great start, folks. All right, we'll keep motoring along here. The first Aaron is to go to uh, NOPD and pay for their cone that we just <laughs> <That's> mauled. <right. laughs> and you got each other. You got along for so many years. Do you ever use your blinkers, Mike, or are those optional? No, he was, he was way ahead of me. Was he? he? Was okay. Yeah, right. yeah, I knew I had that one. Sorry, just distracted. Safety comes first for me and my family, but... Well, we have our seatbelts on. Yeah, I had to ask you to put yours on. <laughs> you I don't know. Did, did you get that on camera? <laughs>